might be a little bit bigger than the They're Amherst Stones. They're a little stones. bit ornate. They're more like what we would have in, in our cemeteries. Boy, Fanny Kurtz. 1958, that's a whole different kind of stone there. And who does the, uh, the lawn work in this place? It looks a little different. They do not cut grass, they bring the sheep in. And the sheep eat the grass. Wow, that's pretty good. My husband would like that. You know, it's funny, I was busting around in the saddle shop, the tack mm -hmm. shop, you know, and you sort of forget that things are different. Like they don't have lights in there, so that's, it was a little darker right. in there. So everything is a little different. 1888. Boy, there's some stories in here, huh? I'm sure. So when people take the driving tour, do you put this on the list too for the driving this, tour? This is on the list. It's self-guided. This is listed on the, the tour that people can stop and, uh -huh. and see it. And What do you think it is that makes people so fascinated with, with cemeteries? I don't know cemeteries so much. Maybe it's our, immoral, our immortality. It, yeah. But you know, you look at these and you see the names and you see the dates and you start, you know, put, building backstories for yourself, especially after you see the buggies going up and down the road here in Lawrence mm -hmm. County. It's a different lifestyle. It's yeah. certainly one that we, as English, as they call us, are, are not used to. Yeah. And I think that's what gives it the big draw. Well, it's, it's similar to, what, 100, 200 years ago? Yeah. Our ancestors probably did the same thing. Well, it's really fantastic. I'm having a great time on this little tour. It's fascinating, Lawrence isn't it? Lawrence County, it's great. Well, here we are. Uh, Tina's? Tina's Cool Shop. Oh. All right, according to the uh, the driving tour here. Now, this, these are authentic Amish-made quilts be. that are all made by hand. No machine action here. Really? Yeah, so these, these ladies get around just oh, like the Pioneer stuff. ladies. And this is, oh, this is a beautiful one. You, you know, know what? Did you hear about their dolls? Put your glasses on. I can't, you can't say it's dark in here. There's it no lights in Amish country. Remember right. that. <laughs> I took my sunglasses off a long time ago. I can see again. I'm not blind. Okay. <laughs> these dolls, when they have the faces, they're not authentic. When they don't have a face, these are authentic. Well, that's Amish a, dolls. That's Did interesting. You know that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. And they also have, oh, look at that. They have the Amish clothes over here. See? we go Anywhere we go, she wants to see the clothing department, <laughs> even if it's for the dolls, right? Look how cute, though. That is, how much money is that? 1950. But it comes with the hat as well. And then the little apron and then the dress. Okay, tell me it's on sale. That's what I want to hear, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't see a sale, sale sign. <laughs> it's called a yo-yo quilt. It says here, queen size, $495. And if you look at the work on this, all done by look hand, look at that. It. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you buy this, you don't let the dog on the bed, I don't think. No, right? no, 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 definitely not. I don't do that. You know well, your husband. Yeah. Or somebody. <laughs> Maybe, that's right. <laughs> Just for looks. Yeah. So here it is. Look at this. We've got a whole bunch of them here. <gasps> Look how pretty. I think they call this one an applique, maybe. And Tina was telling me that something like this is somewhere around $675, oh, I think. Oh, something okay. like that. Yeah. Look at this one, how intricate this is. Look how huh? pretty. That'd dress yes. up a room for you. It would. All you have to do is just lay this right on top of your mattress here. Yep. Is this a queen or king size? What size is this? Kind of looks king to me. Don't you guys think? Kind of king. Look how big this that is. is. A, this is a plain one, and this one was just $650. Wow. $625 or $650. Wow. Oh, this is the uh, state birds and flowers, Yeah, right? this one's got all the state birds and flowers. Hey, here's right. Ohio. There's this cardinal. Nice. Carnation. Good. <laughs> We know, know. our Ohio stuff. That's show. right, baby. <laughs> All right, we have a show in Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> we do. I think so. No. Yeah, we did um, when we left home. <laughs> this is the uh, the wedding band, right? Double wedding ring. Double, I think they yeah, call double this wedding one. ring. They have just about everything. Yes. Come on out here, check it out. You don't have to buy something; you can enjoy it or bring your checkbook buy something. Just don't take Tina's picture. She doesn't want a picture. <laughs> right. And come buy a doll, too. Okay. Authentic. Do we have more New Day Cleveland after this? We do. After the break, we're sweating. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> Todd. Up next. Oh, that's good. Christy gets a little cheesy. Inside an old roller skating rink? Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Herb, Herb, I'm over here. This place is humongous. Oh my gosh, Jim is here with me. This is Cheese House. House, and it is larger than five houses put together. I feel like I should have my roller skates on. Why is that? Uh, well, this is, used to be an old roller rink, so yeah, that's <laughs> quite appropriate. Wow, 
Now you started out very small though. Tell me about that story. I started off in 73 in a one room almost schoolhouse. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. To what, how much is this? Like 14,000 square 14, feet. 14,000 square feet. Well, he has enough cheese to fill this place. I'm not even kidding. More cheese that I even know what to do with or knew existed. So I want to start with some of the things down here to the right okay. and then we'll work our way down 14,000 square feet. So tell me about some of the cheeses you actually sell here. Oh, we sell tons of different kinds. Um, over here, you'll find a blueberry cheddar from England. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. We've got garden vegetable cheeses, baby Swiss, which is very popular. We have quite a few smoked cheeses here, mm. hot pepper cheese, Amish butter cheese. I, I saw this one. This kind of reminds me of a bowling ball. So what's up with this? Did people actually come by this whole thing? Oh yeah, yeah. That's no. baby Swiss. Yes, they do. Really? Mm -hmm. Woo! What's so different about these cheeses, though? Uh, these are our most popular cheeses here. Um, of course, our local cheese, mm. which would be provolone. That's a popular one, huh? Can I, t can I can try this? Shot? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's good. That's good on a sub sandwich, baby. Mm-hmm. And pizza. Don't forget and pizza. pizza. Don't forget the pizza. Oh, yeah. Now, what's this? This is the mozzarella. This is what I had in my notes. Mozzarella that, is the thing here. That's your lasagna cheese, your pizza cheese, and your snack cheese. Oh, that's good. I feel like I'm in cheese heaven. Yes, you are. You tend to sit here and just slice yourself pieces all day all long. Day. All day long. Man. It's a major Can't part. Tell the size of, I had major to part of my diet. <laughs> yeah, cheese. <laughs> the cheese diet. Mmm, this one's good. That's all Warren Colby. That's from over in Holmes County, Ohio, but it's a really good lump. Mmm, that's really good. And our number one seller. New York sharp cheddar. Oh, sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. That tends to have a little bit of a mm -hmm. done it. And it's good for everything, so you can use it for snacking sandwiches. That's cooking. not too strong for snacking. No, no, I have stronger, but that's that's the best. I don't like the strong, I like this okay. one. This there is you good. Go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You have a lot of imported cheeses though as well. Oh. I tons. saw the drunken goat from Spain. That's okay, we won't use that. <laughs> we're done. We're done with that. I'll one. just gnaw on it without yeah. the name. <laughs> yeah, uh, good cheese is popular. A lot of people are dairy. Intolerant, yeah. So they can deal with the good cheese. One that's really popular is, is the wine. Even though it's purple, it's got oh wine gosh, in it. Poor wine. In. Okay. It's very good. I like. Mm -hmm. All right, now this is just one section, everybody. Well, we only have a few seconds. Let's run down here. Okay. Fourteen thousand square feet, and we're running. But you have all like the normal. Fifty different kinds. Yeah. of Domestic cheeses. Those are all the imported cheeses. These are all the domestic cheeses here. Oh, so good. Jim, you guys have a lot more than cheese. Wow, yeah. you guys have wind chimes? Oh, we have a lot of wind it's chimes. It's crazy. I love wind chimes. Everybody Do you have a kid just chimes. run through here and just Occasionally, yeah, <laughs> adults, adults as well. Adults. And myself too, because I like them. <laughs> That's very fun. Um, the hex signs are, I mean, speaking of everything, I mean, you guys have a little bit of a gift shop, mm -hmm. but the hex signs seem to be popular. I don't know what that is. A hex sign they put on the barn, they put on the garages, they put on wherever. They're all for basically different types of good luck. Oh, Oop. sorry. Wow, I got really excited. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they go back about 200 years in, in the philosophy of them all. And they just, there's just a different picture yeah, on each all, one. Yeah, they all rec uh, stand for something else. Like the one I picked up That's was warm greetings house. to one mm -hmm. and all. Love and faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. All right, so you got some food here too, huh? Yeah, especially the food. You foods. guys have a famous line. Tell me about that. Uh, Jake and Amos. Oh. Jake and Amos. I always like pickled chips, but the hot pickled garlic, mm -hmm. pickled mushrooms even, like anything you can think of. Yeah, pickled it pickled. about anything. That's about it. We can pickle it, they do it. Jake and Amos is a pretty popular brand, yeah, they're out so of we those, can only get here. Central Pennsylvania. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this has been fun. A lot of shopping to do, I'm sure. Oh, yes. And you're cutting me some more cheese, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we're going five miles down the road to a place called <laughs> The Land. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. So for the first half hour, we were in New Wilmington, but now over the second half hour, we're gonna be in Valant. Valant, well look, look this here. Yeah. Before we go anywhere, this is like a magic garden here in Valant. Look at that. Yay. We're in a magical kind of place. Now remember we started the other part of the show in like a cornfield or something. <laughs> we did. You know, I wanna remind everyone too, if, you're go if you come to New Wilmington mm -hmm. and you're gonna to go to all those Amish places, 
Amish stores, they're not open on Sunday. No, they're not. So don't you think about coming on a Sunday. Tonight? But, 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 this is the place you come on Sunday, Valant, because of all the great stores, huh? Goodness. Look at them up and down the street oh, no, here. Look at that. They're all connected to each other. Oh, do we have a lot of shopping to do. Are I you saw, excited? I saw a restaurant that had the best codfish sandwich in the world, they say. Really? Yeah. Well, I found a candy store that I want to go check out. Apparently, it has all the nostalgic candy, yeah. you know, all the old. Really old school, really sweet yeah. stuff. So I guess this town was established sometime in the early 1800s, and uh, all the action started around a place where all the farmers bring the grain in. So they would right. grind it up, call it grist mill, and they get their flour there. They get the grain for the animals and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna check that out. I guess you're gonna go up the hill for something sweet. I think it, the candy store is that way, and right. your mill is that way. I'm going as I've been going for a while downhill. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> to Valant Mills. We'll catch up. Soon. Okay. Well, if you're going to start a story in uh, Volant, I guess you start where probably most of the town started, and that's right around the uh, grist mill area, right, John? That's true. The grist mill was the very first building in town, and it was the center. And in fact, everything built up around that. All the farmers would bring the grain here, and this is where you turn the grain into something that they could really work with. Yes, either whether it was food for human consumption or even feed for their animals. Yeah, so I tell you, when you look at the outside of this building, man, it looks like a picture postcard. You couldn't, I mean, this should be on the cover of a magazine or something. It's, a, it's remarkable. If you can help us out with that, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so you so you took this project on as sort of a, uh, you're going to reconstruct this place, huh? Yeah, that's correct. I'm part of a nonprofit organization that acquired the property and we're working to uh, restore the grinding functionality. Well, that's wild because you've got a great gift store going in here. Yeah, two, several floors of it, too. Yes, we do. Uh, we're trying to push as much as we can some Amish products. We have a lot of Amish made furniture uh -huh. in here. Uh, we're working on high quality stuff, I noticed, too. Yes, it is. Uh, Everyone seems satisfied once they uh, come back and tell us how it worked out. What's them. this, a hot tub? No, that's not quite a hot tub. <laughs> but what it is is a very nice uh, cover for two stones that date probably 1850. This is where the grinding stones were. This is the very hub of the mill here. It's where the first grinding takes place. The corn or wheat or whatever would uh, fall down into a hopper here that we're going to have restored. It literally, just by the weight of the stone and the turning action, grinds the mm -hmm. pulverizes the grain and it falls out. Okay. Uh, that's a crane over there that we would use to lift these stones because they weigh several hundred pounds and a, a man, especially in the 1800s, wow, even look two at or that. three of them couldn't do that. You can tell by the steel how heavy the, the actual stones have to so be. They, so there must be keyholes in the stone yes. then, huh? There's keyholes made in the stone wow. that will allow you to like, clamp onto that, screw it up and swing it out of the way. This is so big you could lift Herb our cameraman. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> hey, look at this baby here. I like this. This is a, this is like a, that mousetrap game, I think. Yeah, yeah. Now this is newer technology. This is something you call a roller mill. And what's what this it, like? Early 1800s? Uh, this is probably closer to 19. Uh huh. Hundreds. What it does is has heavy steel rollers in there with some teeth on it, and it pulverizes the grain in that fashion. So what you have is. And most mills, if they go back from the 1800s, will have generations of technology in them wow. if they haven't been taken out and ours are both in place. So this is where maybe the raw grain went in here? Yeah, this would have been that. And also, this box has been added on, but if you look, you can almost, if you could visualize, if there was a board that slid in here, this would be a sacking station. Oh. Where you could put a sack of, you know, a, a feed sack, I'll call it, for yep. lack of a better word, but maybe right. something that could hold 100 pounds of grain. You'd hook it on the back there, pull the slot out, and let the grain come down because it's full up here. That is this, great. This gravity flow. You know, you walk in here, you, you see this beautiful building. We started building, you see all the great gifts in here, but this has got a greater story, and you're bringing this baby back to life. Yes, that's our goal. So where do you find the pieces and parts for something like this? I mean, how do you fix something that's been obsolete? I don't, but we have a consultant for sure he does. <laughs> So, I mean, this is almost like a couple generations of machinery and approaches to the grist mill, right? Yes, it is. Does this, this would go with the newer machine then? Yes, it would. It, it's really newer generation sacking machine. Uh, you can see there's a large pulley here that would have a belt on it that would drive it. And you would, again, put a sack underneath here and you would collect your uh, grain that and it, had been pulverized flour. And that's all, all water from the water wheel. That's what would, would drive yeah. all the machinery. We have a dam up here that we own, actually. and. We divert the water through the basement of the mill. It runs through some, a pair of turbines down there, and that drives all the horsepower. So it's hydro power. We'll see it again in 2012. Renewable energy. 
Terrific. Well, I'll tell you, this is a beautiful place. I've had a great time here. And I was thinking, look, I found, I found this sign over there. It says, welcome to our cabin. I'm going to get one of these. It says, welcome to New Day Cleveland.